Now, it's hard to believe that it's been 13 years since the release of the Core's smash hit album, Forgiven Not Forgotten. With six children between them, a commercial pilot's licence and an acting career to boot, the family have been busy. So we got an opportunity to speak to one of the sexiest violinists in the business and talk babies, bottles and budding solo careers. We jumped at the chance. Here's how it went. Mom of two, Sharon Corey, is well used to changing dirty nappies at this stage and now she's thrown her weight behind a UNICEF campaign that helps to make parents feel a little bit better about that oh-so-smelly task. Sharon, you must be up to your eyeballs in dirty nappies between Cahill and Flory. Yeah, it's pretty much been relentless for the last three years. Um, yeah, certainly got through a lot of pampers in the last three years, there's no doubt about that. How has being a mother changed your life? Um, I think it's a bit of a cliche, but it really does um, change your perspective on life and it changes changes your values on, on, on what's important and um, they are my life now and I absolutely love them. Music is also still very very much my life um, but they um, they make you feel much more vulnerable as well to all the different things that go on in the world so um, you just want to protect them forever. You know? They're only small and Caroline has three I can't believe that three. Yeah she does she has three yeah. yeah. How is she getting on with the, her three babies? She's busy I mean she's uh, she's on relentless school runs and uh, just you know she rings me up and she goes oh god it's groundhog day again here you know um, but she's loving it the kids are great and has Andrea any more acting gigs coming up she does actually she's got something coming up that's really big and we're all extremely excited about but um, but I don't think I'm allowed to mention it yet oh no okay we'll have to watch this space and what about Jim how's he doing Jim's terrific very happy with his little boy um, and again enjoying life so um, yeah it's been a nice it's been a nice break from the treadmill for all, for all of us Why have you put your name behind this UNICEF campaign? Well, I've always been a major fan of the, the work of UNICEF. Um, and then I think this is a very, very simple um, and a, a very, very good idea. Um, the oh, friend here. Hello. Hi, Jackson. Hi. How are you? <laughs> Somebody likes the limelight. How are you? We're talking nappies. Yeah. Right up your street. He knows all about those. Um, I, I think the idea of, um, you know, the, it's a literally um, one vaccine um, donated by UNICEF for each each pack of UNICEF Pampers that you buy. So it's a great way for mothers um, to help other little uh, kids around the world, you know. The time is not on your side, but are we going to be seeing more music from the cores soon? Well, it, I'm in the middle of recording a solo album at the moment, so um, you will see an album from me in the next while, and um, I would... Expect that in the next two years you'll also hear something from the chorus. So tell us more about this solo album you're doing. Will you be singing on it? Oh yes, yeah, singing and playing, yes. Right. Yeah. And what type of tunes are you doing? Uh, it, it's extremely difficult to describe. I mean, there, I've written them all and um, I, I would like to think they're melodic and they're, uh, my husband loves them. I suppose it's kind of a similar vein to the chorus because I've written for the chorus for years so um, I, you can't depart too much because it's what naturally comes to me. Um, so it's kind of, you know, pop rock. Yeah. We're looking forward to it. Thanks a million for talking to us Thank on Expose. You.